Over here you can see that I have a clip right here and then this is what you see um, over here on the preview area. So now what you can do is you can zoom in onto uh, this particular footage if you want to without affecting any of its attributes right here just to see details by using the scroll mouse button and you can see that this is what you have. If you want to see other portions, you can press the middle mouse button and click and drag by using the middle mouse button and see different parts of the video as you can see. And then if I were to go around and work around with the timeline, then uh, the video plays as usual as you can see just like this. If you want to zoom out, you can use the scroll mouse button again to zoom out as well. So over here, if you were to see, you can see that I am in the 22% zoom level right here. I can select percentage of the zoom level as well, like 200%, 300% or 100%. When it goes to 100%, then each pixel on your screen aligns with the video pixel. So this is the actual size um, of the video and the detail that you see in the video is at its maximum capacity. But what you can also do is, let's say you want it to uh, fit around in the preview area itself, but if you were to use the scroll mouse button, then it does not quite fit. Uh, right there. So if I were to go around right here onto uh, the zoom um, option itself and click on fit, then it analyzes the area available uh, around on the output window that you see and then we'll fit it out just like this. If you were to zoom in and in your keyboard, if you were to press Z, then it does the same thing. It fits out everything onto the output window as you can see just like that. So that is how you can use the zoom and fit options inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.